From the moment that I first got the iPhone 12 mini, I have been obsessed with the incredibly pocketable and easy to use one-handed iPhone 12 mini. After having owned the phone for several years now, I wanted to do a follow-up review talking about my thoughts on owning the iPhone 12 mini in 2023. Fans of small iPhones rejoiced when the iPhone 12 mini was announced. It was the perfect pocketable device. You can easily use it with one hand with its 5.4 inch retina display. Many people were happy about the fact that Apple had released a small compact phone with zero compromises. From the get-go, iOS has been designed for small touchscreen devices. As a matter of fact, the original iPhone only had a 3.5 inch touchscreen iOS still feels like it's best designed for a small screen device, with iPhones continuing to get bigger and bigger year after year, and rumors pointing towards next year's iPhones being even bigger. This is a problem that Apple either needs to address in software or bring back a small screen. But there is one problem that the iPhone 12 mini faces, and that is a very small battery something that makes the iPhone 12 mini incredibly hard to use, especially three years later. My phone is currently at 88% battery health, which means that I am constantly having to plug this in. While the battery may be difficult to use, the processing power on this phone is fantastic. There is literally no application that this iPhone is incapable of running, which makes this iPhone still, even to this day, one of my absolute favorite devices Apple has ever made. One thing that I do really love about the iPhone 12 mini are the built-in cameras on this thing. It's a fantastic phone. It's actually a device that I carry with me everywhere I go that I know is gonna take excellent photos and videos. Here's a few real world examples of photos and videos I've shot over the course of owning this iPhone. There's tons of excellent examples of what I've done with this camera over the course of the years and why I continue to say that the iPhone 12 mini stands its ground as an excellent camera. There's a few other key things that I want to touch on with the iPhone 12 mini. First and foremost, the iPhone 12 mini is the phone that introduced us to MagSafe. With that MagSafe compatibility, I've been able to attach wallet accessories, battery accessories, and just attach magnetic chargers here and there. Some things to note about my iPhone 12 mini experience. I haven't updated my iPhone from iOS 15. Another thing to note about this particular model of the iPhone is I have used it case-free since the day that I got it. And that has led to a few blemishes on the device. So if you look at my device, it has been dropped but the screen itself has held up very well. The only thing on my device is a screen protector. It's a glass screen protector. You can pick them up for super cheap online or at Walmart is where I got mine. And you could probably argue that putting a case on it is a good idea as well, but that's a good looking phone. So the real question is, should you get the iPhone 12 mini? I would suggest against it. Personally, I think if you're looking to have the smallest, most capable iPhone that you can get, you go with a used iPhone 13 mini or find a carrier deal where they're still offering them. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on the iPhone 12 mini. Do you have an iPhone 12 mini? Is my review accurate? Or do you think that people should stick with a different size phone? Hopefully you found this video interesting and I will catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.